sometimes it's not possible to hedge exactly what you want to hedge. Why might that be, Alice? You're going to be the expert in this one. Liquidity. If I bought a DES cargo, say delivered into the UK, I say I can buy it at 90% of NBP and my regas, my regas slot is quite cheap and I can effectively sell it 100% of NBP but the market, but it's not going to be delivered to me till say next March. I might not have the opportunity to sell March futures against that. I might do, but maybe not in the volume that I want to. Um, particularly, it might be an issue if you're trading at PEG, for example. If you have gas delivered into Montoir or FOS, you'd have gas delivered into these, the French terminals and you have to somehow hedge a long way forward using French, uh, you know, the PEG market, you might not get the liquidity. So you might have to sell TTF against your PEG delivery or NBP against PEG delivery, probably TTF. But you sell something el else against um, the real, the, the market that you really want to sell. Um, and sometimes if you've got lots of... Um, Cargoes, a strip of cargoes pricing in and over a long period that you want to hedge. You might not be able to sell every single month when they price in. You might have to sell all of your hedges up front. Does that make sense? So you might have to sell, if you've got three, month one, two, three, four, and you go long, three million MMB to you, three million MMB to you, three million MMB to you. So to hedge properly, you would be selling three million month, 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 selling three million, selling three million, selling three million. You might not have liquidity to do these months, or oh, sorry, these months, these months, or this month. So you might have to sell minus twelve million here, and then it's called stack and roll. So you you actually become short here versus you actually end up with lots of time spreads on where you're short the front month and longer month to short. And you effectively roll your hedges as you get closer to the liquidity period. Um, great in a contango market where you're always buying cheap and selling more expensive. Not very good in a backwardated market when you have to buy cheap and sell, sorry, buy cheap and sell cheaper each month. In an extreme example, you might have a strip of six months of cargoes, one a month, and you might have to hedge it all in the first two months. And then you're exposed to the time spreads between the front two months and the back four months.